You know, in the wake of the pass play, that should have been a run play carried by Marshawn Lynch that certainly would have scored. And given the Seattle Seahawks their second consecutive Lombardi trophy, it's time to ask this question. Should coaches give their quarterbacks the right to call their own plays? Now, as you know, if you regularly watch Zinni 62, I was born in 1962. I came up during a time in the NFL when quarterbacks were true field generals. They knew the entire offensive playbook. They called their own plays. And quarterbacks like Ken Stabler of the Oakland Raiders talked about running plays to shake off the cobwebs of his guys. Like, for example, they would start off a game with the reliable call on the fullback, Mark Van Egan, up the middle. Dive play. For no other reason than to warm up the players. Today, that's unheard of. But with quarterbacks like Stabler and Terry Bradshaw, to some degree, but primarily really Ken Stabler, I think, represents the best example, had were a great feel of when to call a particular play and when not to. On the other hand, the Dallas Cowboys had Roger Staubach, who was placed in a system designed by the engineering-oriented Tom Landry. And Coach Landry believed that he could place his quarterback in a predetermined set of plays predetermined not so much by script but by the moment in other words incremental planning on this down and distance we're going to run this play on the other down and distance we're going to run this play because the defense did is in or commonly runs this other type of formation and maneuvering combination which the cowboys determined by computer study which was revolutionary in those days that's that approach, which really goes back to the days of Paul Brown and the Cleveland Browns, became the dominant approach, particularly when a, at first, little-known coach by the name of Bill Walsh was hired away from Stanford and became the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers and introduced an approach called scripting, that is, running the first 15 plays from a predetermined list of per plays placed in that script for a variety of reasons. Perhaps you wanted to see what kind of defensive formation you were going to get if you were called a particular play out of a particular formation. Or perhaps you wanted to determine if you could get one of your players wide open for a long game or a touchdown early on to really set the tone of the game. There were any number of reasons to install particular plays within that 15-play script, but more often than not, it worked. And the 49ers would more often than not gain big leads by halftime and then go to their vaunted running game to close out the contest. That really set the tone for a number of copycat approaches, including Bill Belichick's, that cemented the idea of the quarterback as merely a person who runs a set of plays called by the head coach or the offensive coordinator and generally starting with a script of 15 to 20 plays. That has been the norm for a generation, a generation that more than likely you're more familiar with. All that led to what we saw in Super Bowl forty nine, And it was augmented by something else called matchup football. That is, my big guys against your big guys, my small guys countering my small defensive guys countering your small fleet-wide receivers, and so on. It's gotten to the point where a receiver like Chris Matthews wasn't seen more often in the game because he was part of a particular package. And if that particular package wasn't called, you didn't see Chris Matthews. And 
the past, Chris Matthews would have caught as many as 10, 10 catches or 20. Not today. Not in today's matchup package era. Which, but all of that, plus the scripting, plus the quarterback merely being an operator of the offensive coordinator and the head coach's play desires, all of that led to that lousy play call when you had Marshawn Lynch revved up, running well, and arguably strong enough, and led by the Seahawks offensive line, to move that three feet and score to win. All of that set the tone for that possibility, but it was the thinking, that, that structure, that generation-long, more complicated, developed approach that led to not call, calling that play, something that Ken Stabler would have done, and what we got. So, is that good? My answer is no, it's not. Football has become too cute by half. Too smart. I know a myriad number of plays. I can challenge any head coach out there on a whiteboard and beat what they come up with. So what? There's something that's left out. The emotion of the game, how to read it. The timing of the game and how to analyze it. Those, those the, the place and the, and the intuition, all of that has been removed by this obsession with matchups and control. That is why the Seahawks lost. That is why the Seahawks lost. But it's also because of that that it, it's time to design a system that gives the quarterback the tools like Peyton Manning has and, and trains the quarterback to be a true field general comfortable enough so that even if that quarterback's a rookie, they have the leeway to really impact the game with a play call. What say you? What do you think? But I say it's time to return in a modified way to the true quarterback who is the field general who calls their own plays.